Investigators this morning are looking for the motive in a murder-suicide at UCLA. Frightened students were told to shelter in place on campus yesterday as hundreds of officers scoured buildings. Professor William Klug was shot and killed in an office. Sources identified the gunman as Manuk Serker. They say he used a semi-automatic pistol to kill Klug and himself. Carter Evans is outside the UCLA engineering building where the shooting took place. Carter, good morning. Good morning. Hundreds of LAPD officers, the FBI, even the ATF converged on this 30,000 student campus yesterday. But the shooting also revealed a problem here with classroom doors. Our primary goal right now is to review all of our security procedures. UCLA officials are still reviewing safety protocols a day after heavily armed police swarmed the campus. Possibly active shooter appears is a student. CBS News has confirmed that Maynuk Sirkar killed 39-year-old engineering professor William Scott Klug before taking his own life. Police recovered at least one gun and a note at the scene. There is evidence there that, would be, uh, that, that could be a suicide note, but we do not know that at this point. Students in the midst of finals week filed out of classrooms and buildings with their hands up. And then there's a police officer. He was like yelling at us to get out, get out with a machine gun. One student posted these images of police inside the building, going door to door with guns drawn. Campus police instructed students and staff to find a secure place. But our doors open outward, so it was very hard to try to lock it because it didn't have a lock. Without proper locks, students were forced to improvise using chairs, power cords, and even a foosball table to make sure no one could enter. It was an issue UCLA Provost Scott Waugh says the school is now aware of and plans on addressing. I will review the locks on the doors and any security issue that has arisen in the, during the course of today. This morning, friends and family are remembering the victim, William Klug, a professor of mechanical and aerospace engineering, a husband and father of two young children who coached his son's Little League team. The team took the field yesterday without their coach. Parents said it's what Klug would have wanted. It's, uh, it's hard to even fathom it to uh, have your, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, To have your uh, son grow up without a dad is, is rough. So I'm hoping that uh, the community here could kind of rally around that. Classes in the engineering building behind me are canceled for the rest of the week, but the rest of the school will operate as normal. It was not only college students who were in danger yesterday. There was a group of 19 second graders visiting campus when the lockdown occurred. Nora? Carter, thanks.